from acrylicpouring.com back for another YouTube challenge today. So I'm working with some other YouTubers and um, we have something very challenging for you today. In fact, I'm a little bit nervous, but I've only got myself to blame because it was me who came up with this challenge. I don't know what I was thinking. I just threw it out there and now it's too late to back down. I said we had to use black and white, which are obviously notoriously difficult to use together without it all turning kind of gray and muddy and dull, plus just one other color, a metallic of your choice. And to make it even more difficult, at some point during the process, we had to blow the paint in some way. So that's all I've got, black, white and gold, an empty canvas, and a straw <laughs> so I've got a vague idea anyway in my mind what I want it to look like and I think what I'm going to do is lay down a background of white and gold first of all so I've got a load of white mixed up and some gold just here the paints are all mixed um, acrylic paint with around 30% of Floetrol added and then a little bit of water as necessary and that's all there is today so with this big cup of white I'm going to add in most of my gold Keep in a little bit back for highlights later on and then I'm going to just give this a stir and throw it on my canvas and I thought I would just kind of do a dirty pour so I'm going to start up on the canvas and just let it run all the way down so that it's basically got like a white and gold marble background for me to work on and I'm going to try and catch um, the leftover paint in the cup so let's see what happens. Uh, okay. Okay, that's looking surprisingly good, better than I'd expected. And I'm catching most of it back in my cup, so I'm happy about that because I can use this later on. Even this other stuff that's on the um, the table, I think I can probably pick that up because it's only white and gold. It's not going to go too kind of muddy if I scoop it up and get it back in the cup. So I've got one more side to do. Interesting how um, it came out much more gold on this side. Let's see what we got. I can pick up some of this just with my fingers, I think. Fill in this last little bit. Come on, dribble down. Fill up the last corner for me, and then we're good to go. Come on, paint, a little bit more. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Right. I've got a lot on my hands, but I've also managed to get a lot back in the cup, so that's happy. And I've got the kind of gold and white marble background that I was looking for. I think I'm going to tip it just a little bit that way and let a little bit more of the, the darker area, more where the gold is, just turn back. And uh, it looks a little bit dull right now, but I know from um, using this gold in the past, this is an Art Alternatives Gold. And it's only really, really reasonably priced. You can get it from, um, well, I'll put the link under the video and in the blog article where you can get these art alternatives. But if you are looking for a really good economy paint, then I think you'll like these. They are, um, they're really good. And this gold especially is, um, is excellent. It really, really is very metallic, very vivid when it dries. Okay, so I'm going to set this to one side. Just scoop up the rest back in this cup wipe up a little bit and then we'll get on for the next section of our video where I need to add black now, black on top of this. For goodness sake, what was I thinking? Okay, so I was able to scrape all of that paint back up. So I've got a nice white and gold marbled cup there, which I can use for something else. And it's time to add the black. So I figured if we've got to blow the paint, the best thing to do would be to lay down the background, put some, some just some thin lines of black and maybe then some thin gold on the top and blow them. But let's see what happens. So I'm, I'm, I had a dream, you know, sometimes do you dream about painting? I dream about painting and in my dreams they look fabulous and then when I do them, they really don't. But anyway, it's not gonna stop me. So what I'm imagining is two curves of black, one here and one here. They're not gonna be symmetrical because I don't think I can do that, but it would be kind of cool if they sort of were. So, I only want a very fine line because I know the black is really going to um, take over. So I just want to put something quite fine and I think the squeezy bottles are ideal for that. Okay, so there's a bit of black. 
I'm going to do something similar here. Okay, that's not too bad. So, always better to start off with not much because I can always add more black later. But if I go crazy with it now, it's not going to be any good. Okay, so I've got my straw. Oh, it's gone a bit scrunchy. Right, let's see. Apologies if I get my head in the way. I can't really blow without it. So let's see what happens when I give this a, a good blowing with a straw. Okay, so far so good. That is not too much black paint, so that's good. Ah, well that looks actually pretty cool. I like it. So now I feel a little bit safer that I can add a bit more black. I'm going to try and do something similar again, just that very fine line. I put it inside this other one and then continue to blow outwards. Do you think that's the best way to go? Whoop, this line's a bit thicker. Okay, this one's a bit more blobby. So let's continue on. Now that I know how much black and how much it's going to spread, I think I can afford to do a bit more. Now, so far, it's not like it was in my dreams, but so far it's not gone really horribly wrong either. So I'm going to carry on and do a little bit more. Yeah, so far so good, looking good. I think I can do some more. Be a bit more bold this time and a bit more black because I'm liking the, the contrast a lot. So I'm gonna try and blow out a little bit further this time. But I, I'm, I'm aiming my straw at the black because what I wanna do is blow the black. I don't wanna blow the center over the black if you see what I mean. So we will see how I get on. I've got quite a bit of black going down over this side, so I'm just going to try and balance it here. I'm going to put a bit of black and just blow that over that side. I think that looks good. Okay, a bit more blowing on this other corner. This is looking a bit more like I had imagined it now in my in my head. Got a lot more bold black, so that's good. I don't know whether it needs a bit more. I think maybe this side looks good. This side could probably do with a bit more. And another line of black there. Blow it a bit more. Okay, 
And I think I'm good with that. So now I want to add a bit more metallic in because I want to try and now how am I going to do it? I maybe I should have probably added the gold before I did that last bit of blowing. So I should have put the black and then the gold. But we will see. So I'm just going to try and dribble a little bit of gold on here and then blow that just gently into the black. We will see. Oh, now it's gone all dribbly. What oh, nice. That's it. What a nice line of the gold, if I can make it. Ooh, too much. Okay. Or Okay. So now, I'm wondering now whether I should blow towards the middle. Oh, decisions, decisions. If I blow towards the middle and then mess it up, I'll be disappointed. I'm not sure whether I should blow the gold over the black. Oh, it's a little bit in this corner and then I'll decide. Well, there's no going back from that, is there? I blew towards the middle, I think it looks okay. So now I'm gonna lightly do this other side. And again, what I was doing was concentrating on blowing the gold rather than the black, because I didn't want to end up with um, too much of the, the black and the white there mixing in the middle. But I think, I'm happy. It kind of isn't exactly like I imagined in my dreams, but it's really not that far off. I got the nice um, white and gold marbled background. It's got kind of, it looks a little bit beige, but I think once the, the, the paint dries, the gold is gonna look a lot more sparkly. And then I've got the black coming out into the, into the white. Um, and it is a little bit gray, obviously, but because I think it's gonna mix with the gold, I'm hoping it's gonna look good. And it's got some interesting cells actually, even though there's no silicone or anything in any, any of these paints, just the, the blowing of one paint over another paint um, has created some interesting cells. Actually, I've got a little bit there, I might just blow out a little bit more towards that corner, let's see. Where I just add a few dribbles, I've got a little dribble there. It just softens those dribbles a little bit. Also got a little dribble there. Actually, it's not a dribble. I think it's where I've um, blown the paint. It's created a little splatter. But this is interesting also that this side of the painting when I um, did the dirty pour had more gold. And it kind of has split it now into almost two colors. That this side is more gold, this side is more white. But I'm happy with it as it is. So let me bring you down, show you some of these details. And I think we can call this one a successful challenge, yay! So here's my finished painting and I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. We have a look at some of the details. It looks really nice already. Uh, I think where the black along with the, the white is mixing, I did get grey obviously as you'd expect, but um, in an interesting way. You know, I think the more it sits here, the more there are some interesting cells developing here where the black and the white has mixed. So yeah, they've been gray, but not, not in a bad way, I hope. I hope it looks intentional. And then of course we've got the areas where the, the gold highlights are. So that's a little bit more vibrant and gold against the black right there, right now. And then um, over on this other side, this area of the, the original Dirty Pour had more gold paint in it, so I'm thinking when it dries that this one will be a bit more sparkly over this side. So you can see, let's see where's my finger here. These areas here, these are already looking pretty sparkly with the gold, so I think it's going to look really good when it dries. And um, there we go, that's another YouTube challenge completed. I think we set ourselves a really difficult challenge this time. 
Black and white are always difficult to mix together and with such a limited pla palette that we just have black, white and one metallic, I think that is a successful result. So hang around because I'm going to show you pictures now of all of the other YouTube submissions for our challenge and do hop over uh, and look at all the other videos. There'll be links underneath my video in the description of where you can find all the other videos for people who took part in this challenge too. Thanks very much for watching.